Hello, my name is Bryce Geisel, Technical Marketing Specialist for BASF Canada for herbicides. BSF will be supporting heat herbicide for use in pre-harvest applications for the 2014 season in field peas, soybeans, dry beans, and sunflowers. Heat herbicide can be used as a pre-harvest and provides harvest aid activity, which will burn down and dry down those weeds that have emerged late in the season or any uncontrolled weeds that may be growing in your field. It also has desiccant properties, which can provide crop dry down, and that helps provide a uniform field and can aid in harvestability. Heat herbicide, when applied with a glyphosate tank mix, does improve the speed of dry down for both weed and crop that can be observed over top of just a glyphosate application. BSF has run a number of research trials, both small plot and large scale across Western Canada, testing this use pattern, have found it very effective in terms of managing any weeds within your field for dry down, as well as helping make that crop more uniform. BSF recommends that heat herbicide when used pre-harvest go on with two different rates. The first rate would go on at 40 acres per jug, that's roughly 21 grams per acre, and that would go with your glyphosate application. The recommended glyphosate rate would be one liter per acre of the 360 equivalent, and we do need to add merge to that tank mix at 200 mils per acre. The second rate would be if you wanted to go with heat alone. Heat herbicide on its own, you would go in that on your field at the rate of 30 acres per jug. That's approximately 28 grams per acre. And you would up your merge rate to 400 milliliters per acre. That's because glyphosate does have some built-in surfactants and that, without having that in the tank, you do need to up your merge rate. So for heat herbicide pre-harvest applications, there are some stagings you want to be cognizant of when going in. The recommendation we have from BSF is that the grain content, grain moisture content is less than 30% moisture. But to try to time that in the field gets difficult, so we do have some physiological timings that you can look for. In field peas, we recommend that greater than two-thirds of the pods are dry and have turned brown. In soybeans and dry beans, we recommend that there's between 80 and 90% leaf drop. And for sunflowers, we recommend that the back of the heads have started turning yellow. BSF has also done some testing with a third-party seed lab and have found that heat herbicide does not impact germination or seed, seedling vigor. So heat herbicide, when used alone, will not impact any seed that is kept for seed the following year. This video is brought to you by Farms.com.